Steve Weiss, I apologize for having to cut you off earlier. Um, what do you have to say? So, so a couple of things. Number one, they're not disruptors. They're going into a business and they're offering prices which are free, which many, many others are doing. So I don't think they're a disruptor. Number two, they haven't democratized investing. That's been democratized a long, long time ago. And they're talking out of two sides of their mouth because they are going to own, I believe, about 16 percent of the company, but control over 60 percent of the vote. So let's go where their intentions are, which is not one shareholder, one vote. That's really poor governance. Now, I don't think Vlad, he's done a great job taking to this point, but thank God for the pandemic for them, because that fueled the growth. They were bumping along, they were growing, but you cannot value this company as a disruptor when it's not. You've got to value it comparing it to the others that offer a much broader line of services. So look, they've got a purpose for existing. We're seeing what it is. We've got the little, this may be a meme stock, which will drive it, but I disagree with Jason. The best thing for this stock is not to sit at 38, because retail investors are very impatient. The best thing for this stock is to move higher and higher. Thank God for them. They've got two great IPO uh, players supporting them, which are J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs. We'll see if they hold the syndicate bid or this drops down. Well, I've done well, hundreds of the deals, literally, and my bet is this breaks deal price, and that won't be a good result. Let me